Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, coming up next, I'm going to be building a brand new uh, 2S powered micro size multi rotor. Uh, something very similar to this, just with 2S batteries. Uh, but there's a few things that you need to be able to run 2S batteries. And one of those things are the fly controller. So I wanted to do a little bit of a review for this fly controller before we jump right into that. So what I have here is the F3 Evo brushed fly controller. I picked it up off of Amazon for $25.87. Uh, a few things that I like about it, and the reason why I got it is, for one, it can operate on 2S batteries, where a lot, I'd say most of these brushed fly controllers only operate on 1S max. It actually has six motor outputs, uh, where once again, most of them only have four. I will only be using four, but should you ever want to build a six rotor micro-sized multi-rotor, uh, then you can do it with this. It has a F3 processor, uh, where once again, most of these other ones only have an F1 processor. Now, uh, I'm not too, I'm fine with the F1 processors for these micro-sized multi-rotors. It, it really, is, it's not gonna make a difference. You don't have enough power to make a difference one way or another. Uh, that's just the way I look at it. Uh, but the thing that I do like about the F3 processor, not in aspects of uh, performance and uh, handling, but uh, just take for one example this Beef's Brush board. It has an F1 processor, and so it's going to be much like the NACE32. It only has two UARTs, but one of them is tied in with the USB, uh, and then the other one is a full UART. And that's usually fine. Uh, the way this is, you get three UARTs instead of two, but technically one and a half. Not only that, but just like the full-size Evo, this also has a virtual COM port, meaning that you get three full UARTs, none of them are shared with the USB. Now, I know a lot of you guys are going to say, well, what do you need three UARTs for, for these micro-size builds? I don't know. I'm just saying, it, it's there if you want it. If you don't want it, oh well, don't use it. This also has dedicated buzzer pins, and they're actually on top where with this Beef's brush board, uh, you can add a buzzer in, but the pins are on the bottom, and you can see how that's a bit of a pain in the ass. And not only that, I mean, you can run your wires underneath the Beef's brush board, but then it's not gonna mount flat because you have wires running underneath it. For you guys that do use Spectrum satellite receivers, you do get your three pins for that. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's got everything that I could possibly ask for. So let's go on the screen recorder. So here's the page that I got it from. I'll leave this link for you in the description below. Uh, like I always say, you know, I, I try to stay away from buying fly controllers from, you know, Amazon, eBay, and Banggood. But uh, like I said, sometimes you can get a quality fly controller and I've actually done my research this one seems to check out but I guess we'll find out in the long run uh, now if you also go to this page it gives you this link here and that will take you to the manual and this manual has everything you could need uh, just a couple things to note in this diagram this is only for four motor outputs where the one we have here actually has six motor outputs and uh, one thing you definitely need to be aware of, these three pins right here, you need to bridge two of the pins, and it's either or, not all three. So if you bridge the pins one and two, that's for if you'll be using a 2S LiPo battery. Bridge two and three if you'll be using a 1S LiPo battery. Uh, the thing I want to point out is, uh, I, I'm, this is way too small for you guys to see, but Man, I don't know, maybe you can. Uh, it came pre-soldered with two and three, meaning that the way it comes out the box is ready to go for 1S LiPo batteries. If you will be using 2S LiPo batteries, you definitely need to remove that drop of solder and then bridge uh, the pads one and two before you power it up with your 2S LiPo battery. Now as far as how to connect your receivers and everything like that, I'm actually going to be making a separate video. Um, matter of fact, there will be two separate videos. Uh, the next video is I'm just going to build the multi rotor using the parts I've selected. The video after that will be uh, 
connecting a receiver and going into clean flight and setting everything up because this does use the uh, SP Racing F3 EVO firmware but there will be a few changes that you have to make uh, to get everything to work. The point is from what I'm reading right now uh, I am not seeing a dedicated PPM uh, input but in the directions it says that it's actually tied in to UART number two which would be these four pins right here. You would have your ground, five volt, and uh, receive here. Now is that true or not? I could not tell you right now at this moment in time. We'll find out in that upcoming video. And while we're here, also take note that these two pins on the end are the transmit pins for UART 1 and 2. These are the receive pins, but on UART 3, they, it seems they are actually flip-flopped. Uh, so that's another thing to be aware of. Also, if you are using a Spectrum satellite receiver on these three pins, be aware that the satellite receiver pins on pretty much all flight controllers are actually tied in to a UART. They actually share the same circuits. So if you are using a satellite receiver on these pins, you will not be able to use UART 3 because this is technically UART 3, shared circuits. But that's going to do it, guys. Like I said, I just wanted to show this uh, to you before we jump right into actually building it and setting everything up so you know uh, a little in more detail on the parts that I've selected. And as far as the other parts, I'll actually just you know explain what I'm using once we get there. To see those videos, since they are coming up like next, uh, I'm just going to say go ahead and look in the description below or the top right of your screen because uh, you'll find those links there. That's it guys, so thanks for watching, take it easy, I'll see you next time.